Whenever we're doing polymerization reactions, what we're doing is taking little pieces of molecules or specific little molecules and joining them together. Remember, monomers make polymers and monomers are usually used for plastics building and stuff, uh, industrial applications. Now, let's look at this. There are two ways to create polymers. One is addition and the reactions we're going to talk about right now are addition reactions and the other ones are condensations. Condensation reactions usually take place when you add the monomers and then you get a side product. You get a polymer and a side product. Addition, the monomers join together and there's no side product. So, let's look at specific plastics. There's a plastic that's called polypropylene. And if you remember from the other tutorials, propylene is just a fancy way of saying propene. So, this is my basic monomer. How can we put these monomers together? It's very simple. We add UV rays, some sort of chemical catalyst, etc. Right? So what we're going to do to create polypropylene, which is the, the polymer created from uh, propylene chemicals or propylene uh, molecules, is we take the propylene, we write it like this, then we write a little line, and it depends on your teacher, you write polymerization, or UV rays, or catalyst, whatever. And what we want to do is we want to show the repetition of how these molecules join together. Remember, like in all reactions, the action occurs at the functional group, in this case, a double bond. So I'm going to draw in two steps. I'm going to draw the repeating units that are going to come together. And what's going to happen when the reaction occurs, what's being broken is a double bond. So the double bond is being broken, so I'm going to break it, I'm going to make it go away. But once it goes away, what we want to do is we want to connect these molecules to each other, and I'm going to do that in another color. I'm going to do it in another shade of blue so that it's not that violent and you show that it's the same molecule. So this little arm that was bent, that was broken from the double bond breaking, joins with the next little arm over and we continue on. This means that this is just a segment of the polymer and in order to represent this we write brackets or parentheses or a squiggly line to show that this is only a section of all these little molecules coming together to form long strands, a long chain. In essence, polypropylene is a plastic. So we took little pellets of the monomer, we polymerized it and then we got a polymer reaction. Let me give you another example. There's a chemical called poly, polystyrene. So polystyrene, like its name implies, it's the collection of styrene monomers coming together by polymerization. So the reaction might look like this. Styrene is benzene with a vinyl group attached to it. We make it polymerize. So again, we're going to break that double bond. We're going to line up our styrene molecules right here. And I always like to draw four to imply that this is repeating. And when I redraw it again, remember these double bonds are breaking. So my next step is really to draw this. So I'm gonna draw my benzene molecules right here. This will make it easier and neater. And then we draw them without the double bond. And what connects? The tops connect. So we connect the top to the top. We write our parentheses to imply this is repeating. So this is styrene and this is polystyrene. And many of you might not know, but styrene or polystyrene is really what we use as um, like those spheres that are made out of foam and that we use to make models of the solar system, things like that. So polystyrene foam is very applicable, has different applications for furniture, for arts and crafts, things like that, and it's a polymer. And these polymers, again, these are addition polymers because they only join together and there's no other side product.